Hello guys and welcome to our channel. Today in the first episode of the introductory series, I'll be talking about what is data science and you will eventually know how did it get evolved. So let's get into the video. To start it off, I would like to quote data science as an old statistician teaming up with a younger computer science and both using the techniques to predict the future or training our machines or making them intelligent. Data science started off as a statistician job in 800 AD, but over the years it got evolved and now with the statistician techniques we do need our computational techniques to learn our data and understand our data. And now in this 21st century, it has become one of the sexiest job and the most demandable job. Like you will find in every other company, there's a demand of data science or data engineer or data analyst, which we'll come to know about later in our upcoming series. So let's understand what exactly data science is with few real life examples. Suppose you're buying a product from Amazon. And for the product A, you are giving some reviews. But have you ever thought how Amazon is getting benefited by your reviews or you are buying the product? Mm, I think no. Because when you are writing a review, Amazon gets to know the demand of a particular product in that particular area. They analyze the customer data to know the sentiments or you can say the positive reviews about the product or the negative reviews about the product, how the product is being sold in the market. Next example we can take is about the weather forecasting. Recently a cyclone broke in West Bengal and it was predicted much earlier by the forecasters. So a rescue team was sent in advance to evacuate the people and save the people. This was all because our forecasters have studied the past data and the current situations of the data and this predicted they, this they predicted that there is going to be a cyclone which is going to cause a mass destruction. So this thing helped to save a lot of life. Next I would like to ask you, when you are chatting with someone on WhatsApp, have you ever noticed that if you are typing suppose how are, then you would get a predictive box below giving you some words like you, v, i. But the most apt word would be in the middle like you. But how does it happen? It because your machine gets learned on different models or different data that after how R generally U comes and this is called a language model which we build in NLP or you can call it as natural language processing. So now you can get an idea how data science works in real life examples. Earlier the data, the data we had was structured and very small. So it was very easy by the organizations to just use techniques and visualization techniques to understand the data. But as the time evolved, the data became raw and very unstructured and large and messier. So it became very difficult for the organization to just use the statistics techniques to understand the data because half of the time the data was not useful for a particular task. So they needed to clean it and extract the useful information from it and thus the ML algorithms or you can say making your machine learn patterns and use different techniques came into the role. So to sum it up, I can say that data science is a blend of different tools with machine learning algorithms, different visualization techniques that are used to make your machine learn to predict or make it intelligent enough for our task. Data science is divided into four main tasks. First is capturing the data. Second is cleaning that data. Third is extracting the useful information from the data. And the fourth, fourth most important is visualizing it and using it for the purpose of our task we want to perform. Now, I would like to tell you that Data science uh, was used in different times in different ways. Like for suppose the era one we take, it was used for the business. Like the companies usually had 
the data and they used to use different business intelligence tools to uh, visualize their things but that data was only limited to the organizations it was not yet made public to it was not yet made public so that the people can see and understand and different things could be performed but as the time passed we entered the era 2 where the data got messier and large and it was not only yet limited to the companies but now different people demanded different analysis from the data so now they started to build things use different algorithms and analyze things so now for now we can say that we can so for now we can say that we can divide it like for earlier we had descriptive algorithms which were used to study the past now we have uh, diagnostic algorithms which were used to study the past and and predict and study the present then we had predictive algorithms which were used to study the past know the present and predict the future and then we had this perspective algorithms which are used to study the behavior and actions of a task now came the era 3 where you can say the automated task or automatic analysis analysis started so what happened in this era was people started to use different techniques and tell the computer you learn this task this is the proper manner the things will come and if anything comes in future of this type you give me this answer so in this way things started to develop and now the era is about ai ml natural language processing computer vision teaching your cars a stealth driving that this is a right turn or this is a left turn but i'll leave you with a question what about next what an analytical area would be coming next so i will leave you up with this question until we meet next time